Richard's in Maidenhead. Richard, what would you like to say? Hi, James. Um, I just want to say um, I agree with you to um, a point, and I think any reasonable person knows that um, most Muslims have absolutely no part in this uh, and that, you know, it is um, a real um, a fundamental and um, a very, very minority group who, um, who are doing this. But um, I think an apology is needed. You said before that if um, a Geordie person was doing this, should, should all Geordies um, issue an apology? And that was kind of um, a little bit ridiculous. But Why? Why is um, it any different? Why should Abbas, well, the last caller, apologise for what these murderers in Paris did? Well, because I think the, the alternative is that there is, there is no apology. Well, have you apologised yet? So, apologise for what? The, the murders in, in France on Wednesday. Why would I need to apologise for that? Well, why does Abbas? He was in Berkshire. Well, no, because they're doing it in the name of Islam. If something was done... Not, not his Islam. They might have been doing it in the name of Richard's. Wouldn't mean it was about you. I know, I know, but the... So why haven't you apologised? You can do it now if you want. There, no, there has to be, there has to be some... These, these people are... Um, are committing acts of terror um, in the name of Islam. Not in the name I of his Islam. I know, uh, and I do understand that. So if I, if I, I went and blew somebody up now and said, I'm doing it in the name of Richards everywhere, you would feel you had to apologise? If that wasn't the shoe bomber called Richard Reed, have you apologised for him yet? You're making it a bit ridiculous. No, you are. I'm, re I'm really not. They just okay. Well, tell me why you haven't apologised for the shoe bomber whose name was Richard, because Abbas has to apologise for a terrorist who said he was a Muslim. <laughs> Take all the time you want, okay. mate. Okay, so these guys are from the, the Islamic community. Yes, and the shoe bomber was from the community of people called Richard. We need to feel some sense that. Th th that there's some action in the Islamic community... But I, I, I don't trust people called Richard anymore, so when are you going to apologise? It's a bit difficult to argue against you when you're, you're being like this. I'm, I'm just trying to make a point that these people are from the Islamic community, and there needs to be a sense that... What does that even mean? Well, what does the Islamic community mean? You don't understand what... Um, Islam is what the Islamic community is. People well, I know that Sunni and Shia is. kill each other every single day in this country on a scale that is nowhere close to what happened in France. So, so what do you mean by the community? You think they're on the same side, do you, those people killing each other in Syria at the moment? No. So what's the Islamic community? The Islamic community in this country. It's just everybody who has the word Islam on their religious affiliations, even if they actually hold murderous intent towards each other, which is bringing us back to Richard. Everyone who's got Richard on their passport is part of the Richard community. You're allowed to admit you've made a mistake, my friend. No, I'm not going to admit that I've made a mistake. There needs to be a sense that um, we as a country... I'm, just going to, I'm going to interrupt you there, Richard, which I think some might consider an act of mercy. 